Welcome to another episode of Bite Size UGC, your destination show for three minute foundry mission reviews in Star Trek Online. I'm Rogue Enterprise and with me is Captain P.F. Dennis. Our review this week is of Lineage by popular foundry mission creator Captain Revo. Let's jump in with a look at the story. The mission picks up with your ship being selected to help represent the Federation to a mysterious people whose planet only appears in phase with the universe for several days at a time. While your orders are to facilitate scientific and cultural exchange, things end up going awry when the Klingons intervene in an attempt to steal the alien sophisticated shield technology. There are definite calls out to TNG's first season episode, When the Bow Breaks, throughout this mission. The plot here is pretty intricately constructed, from concept to execution, especially when a time jump of 47 years occurs on the alien planet that passes by in the blink of an eye. There's even a bit of tiptoeing around the Prime Directive for good measure, which in and of itself makes this a very classically Trek story. We would have liked to have seen a bit more polish on the dialogue, but we couldn't bring ourselves to knock off more than a half star for the grammar neglect. Story gets four and a half stars out of five. Moving on to map design. The ground maps in this mission were exemplary, fitting in nicely with the plot and giving a nice detailed look at the alien city. Working in a before and after look at the alien city was especially impactful. The space maps were relatively basic, but kept the plot moving along nicely. We gave map design 4 out of 5. In the tech category, the author kept things very basic for his mission. It didn't implement much in the way of fancy foundry tricks. Though honestly, the caliber of plot and map construction meant that we didn't notice this very much. Still, we gave tech a solid 3.5 out of 5 stars. The difficulty in this mission rates a little on the easy side with sporadic battles placed throughout the mission to keep the experience free of that busy work combat feeling. You might want to turn up the difficulty to advanced or elite if you want a combat challenge, but considering this mission's focus is on the story and experience, we still gave difficulty 4 out of 5 stars. And here's the bite-sized breakdown for this mission. Captain Revo has really done it again here, and with the biggest issue being a little bit of grammatical trouble, we're sure that this one is worth playing. Go support Star Trek Online's Foundry by logging in and trying it for yourself. Until next time, this has been Bite Size UGC.